Welcome. Welcome to the stream of Ori and the Blind Forest. This is the fourth stream of the game. And yep, let's actually have a look where we are and what's the progress. So, okay, so far I've played six hours of the game. Seems like I'm like in 40% of 46% of complete completion. 173 is it like number of killed enemies? Probably, yeah. Seems like I still have long way to go in the na in the number of uh, lives I can collect. The same for the energy and for the experience orbs as well. World events, okay, two out of three. And in terms of skills, I have Spirit Flame, Dash, Light Burst now, that was the latest one I think, Wall Jump, Charge Flame, Double, Bash, Storm, no, that might have been the last one, one of these. And still three abilities locked. And if I have a look on the map, I'm in Blackwood Burrows and I need to go to the Misty Woods. So I will try to try to get there. Okay, I have Soul Link over there. Let's see. I could try first to get this uh, ability point. Just try it. I think when I went there it was quite hard. Then there are two spirit light containers. Okay, one in the water. Okay, that might be quite a long way to get there, but I think I will try it. Let's let's try to explore a bit this time. So yeah, first let's try to get over there. Basically, yeah, my plan is my plan is to start with a bit of exploration and then finally get to the Misty Woods. Okay, how do we how do we get up here? Do I still get the experience point for killing these guys? Okay, I think I I might need to use the well, not the projectile actually. If I go to the right, seems like that might be the way. Let's try the projectile here. Go. Okay, that was a close one. Probably doable then. Okay, can we get that one to fire the projectile? Okay. Almost, but not completely. So yeah, let's let's try to Oof. try to try to go this way. One point of damage, that's fine. Did I use the ball here? I think I did. Okay, 
Oh yeah, I should... No, I could have just... Uh, actually, I could have just... Use the jump wall. Okay, I need to open it again. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Is this... This one? Oh no, not that one. Hey, David! Welcome to the stream. To be honest, I, I expected that you would be so exhausted after today's stream. Yeah, after seven hours of Sekiro. Let's check where we are. Okay, almost there. <laughs> no. After four, seven hours you can't say you are lazy. I don't know yet. My, my record was... Like ten hours. But I'm not sure if you've been taking the breaks, as I've joined la later, but I needed to take like two, three breaks at least during that. Okay, yeah, that's good. Sounds healthy as well. Have you ever tried to do like 20 hour stream or something like that? Because some people try to do it, but I consider it like probably like not the greatest idea. I don't know. Like, not sure how healthy it can be. Probably not that much. I will try to kill that one off before I go up. Okay, no, I can't do it. I need to go in. I actually want to go over here and tr try to get that ability point. Hmm. Hey, Lou Harris. 77 hours. Yeah, I agree. That's a ton. That's a ton. Not on stream, fair enough, but anyway. Anyway, I don't... I've not done it, like, 77 hours. I'm not sure if I've ever been, like... Awake for that long, to be honest. <laughs> he woken up in the corridor. Oh my! Oh yeah, doing doing great today. Thanks for asking. Uh, how are you today, Luharis? Yeah, uh, David uh, here streams Sekiro currently, and he had uh, seven hour long session, but seventy seven hours. That's something completely different. I'm not sure what the current record is, but it was like, I think that the guy streamed like for a month or something, with breaks of course. Okay. Question is, 
Is this possible? Am I able to get there? That wall doesn't seem to be like jumpable. Let me use one of my... Okay, that gets destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I will actually manage to do it. Oh, I, I th see. I don't need to... I don't need to actually jump there. Probably I just need to kill that one. Let me adjust the position a bit. Hmm. Okay, I'm wasting my... <laughs> my globes. You do alright. Cool. Working is lame. Oh yeah, I 100% agree. Working takes so much time. Plus, if you need to... If you need to... Travel to work like a long time, that's even worse. In my latest work, I just needed to travel like... Uh, how much? Hour a day, which wasn't that bad to be honest. But I used to used to travel, I think it was like almost four hours a day and that was a bit crazy. And I, I think I'm gonna commit suicide here because I basically lost all my globes, so I will try again. Well, maybe, maybe there is option to reload, I actually don't know. Yeah, as you mentioned, we need work to survive though. Okay. Am I wrong in thinking I need to do this? Maybe I'm just not able to find the proper angle and that's it. Hmm. Or you need to be really, really precise. Okay, let's commit suicide and try one more. Once more. So, do you live in the US actually? Or, and can you... Yeah, can you can you work uh, remotely? Yeah, basically same for me. Just as the pandemic started, basically the office office got closed and everyone works remotely. But there are plans to reopen the office actually. I think I've killed killed it now. Well, almost. Whew, done. Nice. Close to the east coast. Close to the east coast. Nice. Close at least until September. Okay. That's, that's, well, not good, but, well, depends if you like working from home. You know how I mean it. Uh, our office... Uh, I think should be reopening gradually from the 1st of July, but yeah, it's gonna be really, really different to be honest. There is like different, you know, amount of desk, lower amount of desks, more space, which is actually good because the office was really, really cramped to be honest. And we won't be... We won't be actually like required to go to the office yet. I think the government still has like stay at home if you if you can. East Coast, so that's really cool. Yeah, 
in September. Yeah, I need I will need to do a bit of research because this year I planned actually my holiday in March, mid March, and I was supposed to visit the US for the first time ever. And I wanted to travel to New York, Philadelphia and Washington DC. And basically pandemic just started, so basically evening before my flight, I had flight during the morning. I just decided, okay, I'm not going, and I let them, hey, I, I'm not going. So I like cancelled my flight, I, and I still need to, I wasn't refunded, I actually need to pick up my tickets and decide where should I travel again now. Which is a bit tricky because I haven't really in, had a look into what's the situation currently. So, oh, David, you are Bulgarian. Oh, I forgot to ask you actually. Called Textbacks International. So, yeah, so I'm actually Czech, but I lived in London. I lived in London, so I worked in London. But I actually, now during the pandemic, my rent ended, and at the moment I moved back, back to my homeland. So, Currently, I'm back in check just right now. Oh, almost. Sup. Sup, sup. Is it? Uh, this does ring a bell. It's really, really, really a huge, huge company, right? Because I think I think I've heard heard about it. I haven't worked that, but I think my one of my colleagues probably used to work there. Because their mine have actually office in Czech Republic, right? Then it will be possible that yeah, that was that was the company where that colleague worked in. Oh, another ability, really cool. Seven now. <laughs> Our partners seems like you guys might be connected through work. Let's actually have a look on what abilities what abilities I can buy. So yeah, I wanted to visit East Coast, but unfortunately didn't happen. I hope it will. But again, I will need to actually check what's the situation in the US. Just today I read in some discussions that there were like 40,000 new cases in the US. So it seems like the pandemic is still like going on. And I was like, I wanted to travel like now in September or something but seems like it might not be the best idea so I should probably try to postpone yeah as mentioned I was supposed to get uh, be there in March and that was just as the New York started uh, to close off some districts or you know parts of the city so I had really really bad timing this year they skyrocketed. Oh my god, that's really bad. Because now, back in Czech Republic, uh, we had, you know, it's, you know, the restrictions are getting lower and lower and lower. Today actually was the highest number of new cases from April, and that was like 170 cases. But hopefully the numbers are skewed because they just tried, you know, not general testing of people, 
for new cases, but they are testing the people in the local sources of the virus. So hopefully it doesn't mean that like second wave is coming, but it only means that they are testing basically people that make sense that they would get infected. So I have seven skill points, so I think I can use ultra souling two life cells. That's nice. And charge dash. So we could attack through charge. Or oh, water breath. Seems like nice as well. Lots of the abilities are actually really nice. I think I'm gonna have a look on the damage tree as well. That's this one. Ultra light burst. That increases the strength and radio of... of Okay, radius of light burst. That's the balls that I can be throwing. Cinder flame is further increases the th strength of the spirit flame. Ultra stomp, radius and damage of storm. Rapid fire, rapid flame allows the spirit flame to be fired more rapidly, even. Enhances the radius and attack damage of charge flame and ultra spirit flame. Okay, it seems like it increases these three abilities. <laughs> the rest of the year you mean yeah I, yeah i hope not i hope it will get better soon but yeah who knows hard to predict hertz 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 uh now i'm now i have a window so-called window i can't remember what they do what does hertz do But yeah, business is... Oh, the car rentals. Oh, that makes sense, right? Nobody, nobody rents cars, so... Yeah, I will take Ultra Souling. And... Let's try Charge Dash as well. And then I will go and... Ultra Light Burst. Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and now I have, I am without, without the points. They were down ninety-five percent. Oh yeah, that makes sense, though, because yeah, no one's, no one's using the cars. But yeah, that's like really crazy. Uh, yeah. Lots of stuff got influenced, like. Everyone knew, knows about the restaurants, how, how really bad they have it. But some of them actually were quite able to, you know, do something. Lots of the resto ouch, restaurants started to do deliveries. For example. Okay, this is tricky. This is tricky how to kill that one. Okay, that's killed. Whew. And I would like to go to the right and see if I can collect the orbs on the right. And yeah, the multiple orbs actually. Hey, hi, Blady. Hi, Blady. Uh, hydrate. For sure. Let me hydrate. Let me open my reward queue so I don't forget. And. Cheers, Blady. It's going to be hydration using tea. Uh, fruit tea, actually. So welcome, welcome to the stream, and Luhar is actually, maybe I haven't welcomed you as well, so welcome as well. Uh, I think it's strawberry tea, strawberry tea. Strawberry or raspberry? Strawberry. 
Yeah, actually, last tea bag of strawberry tea. And from tomorrow, I will be drinking Earl Grey. But I'm actually looking forward to buying uh, Ruboa tea. I'm not sure if you if you guys know Ruboa tea, but that's a tea from South Africa. And it's really, really, really nice. So I would like to buy it again. I can recommend that tea. Really nice. But from tomorrow, I will try Air Grey. <laughs> Captain Picard's favorite tea. I got inspired by Captain Picard. Oh, Rubati fancy? I'm not sure if it's fancy. Ouch. Wow, that, I didn't see that coming. Might be fancy, I guess. Uh, I don't think so. I uh, I don't I think it costs like the same amount as to, like the rest of the tea. I was just able to try it because yeah. Actually through work once, yeah, I've gotten to South Africa last year. It was like amazing and they had that Rubo tea, so I bought that and then I drank it. So I and, and I really enjoyed the taste. Really nice taste. You have bushes in your garden, David. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. But do you like to collect them actually? Do you like to do you, do you like the gardening work? But yeah, Bulgaria. I'm trying to think if I've ever been to Bulgaria. I don't think I've been to Bulgaria, to be honest. Unfortunately, I haven't traveled a lot. I wanted to travel, but... And the... Oh my. I haven't saved. Okay, let's do it again. My trip to US was supposed to be like beginning of some traveling. So maybe in the future, who knows. Bulgaria is supposed to be nice. Good exercise. <laughs> Good exercise. Yeah, picking up the berries. I see. Oh, now we have the ability actually. I have the bash, or I'm not sure how it's called. So I can use this weirdly looking column to open the stuff that I wasn't able to do it previously. Lots of problems? You mean lots of problems in the country? I... sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Uh, is it related to politics in your country? Because I had a colleagues from Romania and they had some issues there with politics as well. Basically, politics in these uh, European countries, Central and Eastern Europe, usually uh, it's a bit complicated. But politics is actually probably complicated like everywhere. In Czech as well. And yeah. Oh yeah. That's actually true as well. Yeah, if people can't unite. 
or if people vote for whoever they vote, etc, etc. Yeah. For example, yeah, if you keep for a, yeah. I don't know the situation, so can't really comment on on it. What's happening there? Oof. Let's see what happens if I use this. Okay, that closes. Do I want to keep it open? I actually do. And I want to see what what's there. Yeah. You are right, Sulharis. Unfortunately. Exactly right. Seems like lots of countries are... And it was the same in the UK, basically. I guess everywhere people are quite... You know, unhappy with the politics. I'm not sure if there is like one country where the people are really happy, happy with it. Okay, I've collected what I wanted to collect. Let's see. So now I need to... I would like to check out this one and see if I'm able to get there. <laughs> 25 years. <laughs> 25 years and no change you say David. Oh, oh damn. Twenty-five years. Oh yeah, I I don't blame you to be honest, Lou Harris, Lou at all. So you will have election coming though, right? And question is, what's gonna happen there? Who's gonna win the election? Uh, to be honest, yeah. Sorry if guys, if you find this topic like too sensitive we can always switch uh, if you want to have completely relaxed stream we can go from this topic I just wanted to mention uh, back in our work we have basically a talk so once a week at least where people choose a topic and they talk about it and it can be something related to work it can be something unrelated and one of the topics were actually my colleague actually that's from Bulgaria she lived uh, she lived I'm I don't know how long to be honest she lived in the US and she had to talk about why is uh, Donald Trump gonna win the next term as well so she said he's probably gonna win and these are the reasons why so I'm not sure if you agree <laughs> Again, I don't want to, yeah, presume anything here. Uh, okay, let's go to the water. And finally, finally. Go underwater. So yeah, we can finally go underwater and yeah, now let me see. I've, I'm clearing this up. Probably I would want to go now over there if I can and collect this that would be cool so yeah David you say people are unhappy with the, by the politics because they do not see benefits oh they do not see the benefits oh yeah. Oh, the, su the most, the sufferers are his voters. So yeah, we will see, we will see what happens. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been following that much of the politics yet. Uh, uh, maybe like 10 years back even, I've been really like into politics. I've been following what's happening in, in Czech. Well, mainly, well, not only Czech, in general. I was really into politics. I like... You know, every day I watch news, what's happening, 
who everyone says. And then we had like a bit of scandal in Czech. Uh, our prime minister, I think, yeah, his lover, his mistress, used like military police to spy on prime minister wife. And it got out and basically the whole government went went to flames. So we had new election and since that happened I was like nope. Because that was like government that I've actually supported. And this scandal basically broke their back and my mine as well. <laughs> Yeah, for sure we can change the topic. Yeah, it can be really, really touchy. So let's change the top let's change the subject. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure because in in Czech it was he basically he basically quit because he was like forced to do it. It was such a scandalous. He basically quit. And that forced new election. But yeah, we can change the topic. So I know that David David is playing Sekiro. Uh, what what have you been playing? Oh, you've mentioned that you've been really working hard. Did you manage to play something? To take take the edge off, take your mind off work. Luharis. So yeah, as you can see, I'm playing currently... Ouch, ouch. Ori. Yeah, my PC still, I haven't like, I've co finally contacted my repair shop, so my main PC. Something should happen like hopefully soon. Okay, now as I unlocked over there, I'm not able to unlock over here. But I might get there later on. Okay. Let's go let's go to the right and see. You've played a little bit of Yeah, one step yeah, you mentioned one step from Eden. And you play Dungeons and Dragons. Nice. I've never really 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 played that play Dungeons and Dragons. Well I did, but just a really really small small bit. And once uh, World of Darkness as well. That's what friends mainly play now, World of Darkness. But I played the games based on Dungeons and Dragons, so... Baldur's Gate, that's my gem. Icewind Dale. All these games. Yeah, tomorrow I, I I will try to change it up a bit, I think. And I will try to play Slay the Spyro again. Probably. I will see. And I'm I'm preparing to finally like branch out to Silent from Ironclad. <laughs> So, small changes coming, probably. Ouch. Okay, we are over there. I would like to go up. But that seems like I won't be able to to get up there. Well, maybe, maybe projectile will help. Oh, 
Okay, that was too high. Not sure how I'm supposed to get there. Like maybe really that second projectile? Hmm. I will try just a bit. Once more. Hmm. Oof, yeah, it was the second one. Music is really good in One Step from Eden. Nice. Oh, Rhythm Games. Guitar Hero. I never owned Guitar Hero, but I had an opportunity to actually try Guitar Hero and Rock Band and I love the drums. I loved the drums. <laughs> oh, Rock Band on PSP. I guess, but that's not, that's, that's not really exactly the same, right? <laughs> You still can enjoy the music, but when you can play the when you can play the drums on the on the plastic drums, it felt great to be honest. Ouch! Yeah, let's see if we can collect that orb on the right. Oh, so it was really good then. Cool. How come I didn't collect this one? Oh, because it's it's closed off. Now I see. Now I see the reason for it. Not sure if I'm seeing yeah, there is probably not an option to open that. PSP man, I've never oh never owned PSP. I actually never owned any any like newer handheld. I still remember when. Ouch. when Game Boy Advance was a, was a thing. I really, really liked, wanted to have that one. Ouch. Game Boy, Game Boy Color? Now I've considered, yeah, it's, uh, buying Switch. I've actually bought Switch, but then I returned it immediately because that was like I bought a Switch and they announced the new version, you know, the one with better, better battery life. They announced it like two days after I bought the, bought the Switch. It, it didn't even arrive yet and there was like a new version already. And I was like, oh my god, I want the new one. So I freed. I, I free turn that. I would still love to play Zelda sometime. And yeah, uh, David, Final Fantasy sounds great. Yeah, I've already mentioned that's a franchise I I need to need to get to as well.
You are looking at Bulgaria. Okay, for Final Fantasy VII. Limited edition. Isn't probably too late to try to get limited edition? Usually it's really hard to get them. Oh, you found it. That's amazing. That's amazing then, because... For example, there is like limited limited version of Cyberpunk, right? And I think that was like out just based on pre-orders. I'm not sure if that's still available. But that one is completely nuts to be honest. And expensive like as hell. We found an ability so nice. Can we try? Should we try to get over there? Okay, let's try. limited edition still out there unpacked but they cost fortune are you unpacking your limited editions because I would be unpacking them uh, for example I have limited not limited collector's edition of mass effect but I of course I unpacked it <laughs> so I'm probably not the proper collector I guess I'm not planning on reselling them. For example, if I bought the Cyberpunk, ouch, I wouldn't be reselling it. I would need to buy two. One for myself to open and one for me to keep unpacked. Sorry, uh, unopened. Yeah, I want to go to right, actually. Yeah, yeah, I know, basically making money, like an investment. But, yeah, as mentioned, I would be probably, like, buying them to, to play the games. Or, you know, use that statue and... Whatever is part of the collectors. But I haven't really bought that many of collectors or, you know, special editions. What I bought was Mass Effect and then I have some steel books of some games. But yeah, the largest ones probably is Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2. Into a display. Nice. Uh, I've disabled the links to be honest, so my bot would instantly like remove it. Oh, okay, it opened it. And I don't have like the setup that would allow you to post a link temporarily. I should look into it. So 
to enable it, I would start and need to go to settings and start fiddling with that. So sorry about that. <laughs> I, I've just recently like removed the ability to post the links. Yeah, this is the Ginso tree. I just want to collect the Uh If you We can we can Google it, right? Google would find it. How 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 that version is called? PSP two thousand Crisis Core Edition. Crisis score. Oh, I see. Crisis score. Okay. Can we... Can we scale this? I don't think so, actually. Seems like... Land. And I don't see any lantern here or whatever. Let's go. Yeah, but Final Fantasy VII. Would you say it's a the the remake? Would you say it's the best uh, entry point for someone that actually haven't really played the series? How much does it cost? <laughs> and I have seven ability points again now, so I can actually buy some abilities. Oh yeah, that's right. I would I would love them to do like one part of the remake like every year at least, but not sure if that's feasible for them. Okay, there is ability to have water breath. Uh, souling efficiency is cost of souling. Okay, triple jump. I can see that to be useful. Ultra defense. Life markers, uh, okay, it will be on the map. Energy markers, like the on map as well, and sense. You can see hidden eras. I think I will try to get that triple jump. Seems like something that would be required in the future. Oh, and now we have triple jump. If you play the original Final Fantasy 7, you have the whole story available. Oh yeah, that's right. Every two to three years, but that's like crazy wait, right? That's like crazy amount of waiting. But unfortunately, yeah. Uh, if you want to like really do it properly. Unfortunately, I I think you might be right. <laughs> one thousand, one thousand, PSP for one thousand. Oh my! Oh, that was almost. 
Okay, let me see. Yeah, triple jump required for this. Nice. So we have the ability cell now. Again. Okay, yeah, I think I need to go here to be able to go to the left. Unlock this door, probably. So yeah, let's go to the left. And we go... we go down. Yep. You would give... you would give one thousand dollars for it. You would buy it for one thousand. Okay. Okay, so I see. You basically... you love it so much, you don't really care that's like one thousand. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, basically, I think for you it might be worth waiting and buying PS5 because backwards compatibility, right? I think it should be backwards compatible. I shouldn't have killed it. I think I might need it. Because see, I'm not able to jump it, fr jump from there, right? Let's see. One, two, three. No. So yeah, I think like waiting for PlayStation Five might be a better option. And this is too high, I think. Hmm. Again, if I jump there... Oh, almost. Maybe, maybe using the projectile we could get there. Okay, I think I know what to do. Let me see. Okay, I've already been here but I don't have the ability to get through it okay fair enough oh actually yeah, there's gonna be one in a year PC port <laughs> extors for exclusive yeah, unfortunately exclusive exclusives are what sells the system, though. Like right now when considering if you would like buy if you would buy like uh, PlayStation or Xbox. I think like it makes sense to go for the machine that has the exclusives. Even though, like, Xbox has Game Pass, which is great value. No question about that.
Okay, so you are not buying consoles then. Maybe handhelds, but not consoles. Yeah, to be honest, I've bought I've bought the PS PS4 really really late in the life cycle. But it has so many great games. I don't I don't regret it. Now it's true that probably I could be playing them on PS5 later, but who knows? I might not be buying PS5 for some time. But some of the games looked really good in the future of gaming, the PS PS5 presentation. I really like Project Project Atia, but that's actually going to be on PC as well, so no reason to buy No reason to buy PS5 for that. But there's gonna be that remake of Dark Souls. That will be so Dark Demon Souls, sorry, that will be something for you, David. I'm not sure if that's coming to PC. Probably not. Demon Souls remake. Oh yeah. Well, if you if you yeah, if you really don't need the games. Then yeah, then they are unnecessary. You are considering buying a Switch, yeah. I, as I mentioned already, I, I'm considering it for the future as well. Hmm. For me, the reason is Legend of Zelda. It's supposed to be so amazing game. Basically, I'm almost willing to buy Switch just because of that. Well, I'm actually willing. I know that. <laughs> But now I have plenty of games to play on PC and then on PA PlayStation. So it doesn't make sense to go for it just now. But Legend of Zelda, that's a must, must, must game for me. I really, really need to play it sometime. You are not Legend of Zelda fan. Well, I'm not as well, but I just heard how am amazing the latest Zelda is supposed to be. That's why I want to play it. That's the reason. So even though I'm not not the fan, unfortunately, unfortunately I haven't had the chance to really try the series. I that would be another series that I should probably try to get into it. The same as Pokémon, right? Oh, I can actually... I don't need breath anymore. I've never played the Pokemon games. And that's something I... I don't know. It's so legendary. That I should probably do it. And you hate Mario. For some reason. Okay. Interesting, that's really interesting. I've actually played Mario, the old one, Mario Super Brothers. <laughs> Seems like you don't like Pokemon. Yeah, I was watching Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon TV show as a kid, and I didn't even know that there are games at the time.
Another ability, nice. Yeah, I want to collect, collect that one, since we are here. You mean Pokemons? Oh yeah, I, as I watched the first series. Okay, maybe I can do the jump now, since I have triple jump. Finally, finally, able to get there. Well, finally, probably. Not that interesting stuff there. Okay, do I need to use my orb? Nice. Not sure if I should unlock this door, but I can. I can afford it. So let's do it. Not your cup of tea. Cup of tea. That's fair enough. I I actually not really familiar what with the gameplay of Pokemon games. I guess you are catching Pokemons and then battle, which might be fun. So if you would buy Switch, David, what would be that game that you would want to play there? You mentioned, okay, you are considering because that's the handheld of choice currently. What would be the game that you would buy there? And Luharis, you have like some Switch or any N Nintendo devices? Yeah, I've already mentioned, for me, it would be, go-to title would be Zelda, and then second Zelda when that releases. Uh, I wouldn't probably play, like, Super Smash Bros. or something like that. Oh, we have 3DS. Is it that one that actually has the 3D display? 3DS 3D or something like that. Oh, the tube that reminds me of Mario, actually. Oh, okay, I need to go back. I want to go to that tree, yeah, yeah, this area. So we go over here. And seems like I could collect at least one, try to collect at least one of the ability points there. Greedy is awful. Oh, oh damn. That's the main selling thing, right? Well, not the main, but, but the main gimmick. And it's awful. It was the 3D that, yeah, it was like a bit revolutionary, right? Because you had 3D without glasses. I actually like, like, 3D, if that makes sense. I like going to IMAX. There is one in Prague. There was one really huge one in London as well. And I think like for blockbuster movies. Makes sense. I watched Rogue One, I think. Was the one that I watched in Mimex. Come down, come... Oh my. I can't really seem to throw it properly. 
Hey Bones, hey Bones. You are going to pick up Slay the Spire. Nice. Is it is it on sale? I need to check it on Steam. Because I might buy the Steam version just to have the Slade Relics available. And welcome, welcome. Sega, Sega games are on Twitch. Um, maybe I heard a bit about that, but I really, really don't know. But that's cool. Animal Crossing, yeah. Lots of people played Animal Crossing. Not sure what's happening now. If they still play it and selling like turnips. I heard lots of discussions about turnips. <laughs> but yeah, I can wholly recommend Slay the Spire. Nice, nice. Good choice, Bones. Spongebob? Spo there is... Oh! There is some game called Spongebob and... Spongebob and Battle for Bikini Bottom? Something like that, right? That's, that's going to be on Switch. Well... Probably it fits there. <laughs> Half price on Steam. Cuphead. Cuphead is, um, is amazing. Yeah, I've watched Cuphead. And it looks so gorgeous. That's like on my like on my list for sure, like to play. Okay, I don't think I can I wasn't able to get there, right? Killing that bird, that's something I was able to do, but Opening this, I wasn't sure how to open it. So yeah, I, I, I should probably pick that up. Already people... I'm not sure if Luharis you recommended Slader's, uh, Slader's Relics. Or someone else was asking for it already. So... And I've mentioned I've already asked the developer developer of that uh, extension and yeah he's not planning to make it available for the GOG version that I have I I don't know I don't know if you need constant internet connection to be honest no idea I would hope not but I heard that there were some issues with uh, uh, Switch, uh, but that was mainly about account sharing and multiple accounts on one, and that was the that was the issue. That wasn't like easily done, but not sure about the connection, and maybe it was changed between the versions as well. But it would be good if you don't need to have constant connection for sure. As it's handheld, it would be basically against like what it's supposed to do. Okay, yeah, let's try to get these power-ups. Okay, on the way. How do I get there? Do need to go down? Okay, that seems unapproachable though. 
Maybe I missed a lantern or something like that. Let me go back and see. Nope. Not sure how I should get there. And if we go to the right, we might just jump there. Switch light. Interesting. I would... I would want the PC, uh, not PC, I would want the main one, personally. Oh, let me actually check. Maybe I could have used projectile there. Ouch getting destroyed let me try to use the projectile here no I need to do it different way this way okay no it's not it Okay, if you wouldn't like use the use it with the TV at all, that makes sense. If you really, really want to use it just for travels, basically that's that's the console made exactly for you. Then a uh, handheld, I mean. Okay, and getting up there. It's actually quite hard as well. Yeah, no way I could... No wall I could use there. So... Yeah, I don't think I'm able to... Get there at all. Or maybe I'm missing something. So let's go and let's go to the Misty Woods. Almost there. So yeah, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. Why not? That would be a good, good game to try there. For me, the Pokemon as well. We destroy that, and we are in the valley of the wind. New era. And enemy actually broke this for us. He didn't even need to do it. <laughs> you must climb now. Good luck climbing. Now your addiction start. <laughs> now your addiction starts, actually. It's such a good game. Totally worth it every every euro or every quid that you spend on it, every dollar. Okay, this one's a bit tricky to get to.
Hmm, maybe I will leave it for later, I guess. Or we can try to get get there this way. Let's see. Yeah, I can try to... Almost, okay. But it's gonna be doable if I just dash. Yeah, PS Vita. Yeah, it wasn't like... What was criticized? That it wasn't supported enough, right? By Sony. Yeah, mods on Steam, yeah, that's because of it, yeah, mod support to have it available. Yeah, because of that extension I mentioned, but the different mods as well, for sure, are gonna be the reason. Yeah, it's like bad, I didn't realize that if I buy GOG version, I will basically have like and content that's gonna be unavailable for me. I like uh, good old games, but yeah, seems like at least for some games, Steam's just better. Basically, if it has workshop, probably good idea to buy buy there. And I really want to provide to my viewers, like when I stream Slay the Spire, you the ability to use the Slay the Relics. Like, an, at least, like, I think it might be nice. So, yeah. I still have some time to buy it. <laughs> I think, like, the. The deals are till 12. I've actually looked today on some of the deals, so I will. I'm not sure I will be able to hold off myself from buying lots of games in the Steam sale because there are. I've already like had had a look, and there are like multiple of games that I would probably want to buy. Uh, 9th Julie, okay. I thought it's 12th, but that's fine. 9th. <laughs> the games are so cheap, you don't need paycheck. <laughs> so, for English to check is if you if you buy that one you can write sentence in english and i will translate you to translate the sentence to czech or you can write sentence in czech and i can translate it to english but that wouldn't work for you i think <laughs> unless you know how to speak czech so basically i you will give me English sentence and I will say, hey, this is how you say it in Czech. I'm, I'm considering different rewards, to be honest. I just need to need to put some in. Maybe something like a special reward, like I will stream for five minutes in Czech or something like that. <laughs> Not sure if people would be interested in, in that.
So Remnant from the Ashes and Red Dead Redemption are the games you are interested in. I actually own Red Dead Redemption. I I want to stream it sometime. I started to stream it actually from my PS4 and then they announced there is version for PC. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy the superior version, probably superior. And since then I haven't really played it. <laughs> Doom Eternal, another good choice. I've played actually Doom 2016, like after Eternal, after Eternal release. All good games. Yeah, they've added the new but people were really, really against it, and so I think they've removed it. So now it should be fine. Okay, what are we gonna see? I know of this place, the feel of the air. The path to the west leads to the Misty Woods Trail. Oh, bad guy. Bad guy watching. Coral looms up ahead. Want Elavas to pass. Let us not travel further, lest we unleash her wrath. Okay, so we are not going further then. Let's, let's see how we unleash her wrath. We can save here and probably kill, uh, kill ourselves if we try to continue. Then it wasn't a problem, it was the kernel level executable day. Oh, and that didn't fix? They didn't fix that one yet? Wow! It's insta death. Did you see that? Okay, let's not travel further. Let's try it on the ground. Okay, insta that. Let's not go there. Objective, find the Gumon seal hidden inside Misty Woods. I can't go there now, so I'll need to go on the other side then. Okay, almost dead. Picking some HP might be nice. Okay, I can't still dash through these walls. Yeah. Oh, let's buy some abilities. I have seven now again. Uh, it's similar with Valorant, right? I I heard that the anti-cheat software to install with Valorant that gives like lots of permissions there as well. Okay, we can reduce the damage inflicted by enemies. Okay, let's do it. Let's not get damaged that much. And we could do Cinder Flame. Increase the strength of the Spirit Flame. And Ultra Stomp increases radius and damage of Stomp. Okay, let's use these. <laughs> okay, that would be good business plan. They would mine, mine on your PC. Pff, almost. 
mistakes were made. Oh, it's really, really, really small platform there. Okay, I, I jumped into the wall that killed me again. Let's see, do we go here? Oh, the price of the graphics card. Yeah, for sure. It's like really, really annoying. But now they are back to normal or lower. Okay, another one I didn't spot. Okay, how we should continue there? How should we? So the prices are insane. If you want decent upgrade from your 1070 Ti, you have to spend fortune. But they, they already had the comeback, right? A bit. No? Aren't they like now like uh, the ones on top? I am AMD, I mean. Oh, CPUs. Okay. Ouch. Hey Blady, hey Blady. Welcome, welcome. Today, today I'm doing good. Really good. Ouch, I will get damage there. Today I can't really complain. Well, I could complain. Uh, for some reason my shoulder is aching, but I guess that's like a small thing uh, in comparison with your stomach. Uh, how are you today? Are you feeling better? Did that sleep uh, help with your stomach today? I might need to light light it up but I'm not sure I'm able to throw one there let me see okay this seems tricky really tricky So yeah, uh, how have you been today? Hmm, okay. Maybe I won't get... Okay, there is a spot where I won't get damaged. Good to know. So let's try to hit that one. <laughs> but that's really small, small spot. They got buffed. They now shoot three. 
Three projectiles. That shouldn't be allowed. That's criminal. I think. Still waiting. Kuro still waiting. Okay, good. Uh, great that the medication helped. Yeah. 2080 is expensive. Yeah. And if you want TI version, that's even more expensive. Yeah. But... I... I let me see... It's still like 800. 2000 because I bought it last year and I think it was similar price As long as Kuro is out there the path to the Mr. Woods will be blocked But look up there. We might be able to distract her if we loosen that rock So up there there is a rock to loosen So we can try and do it Oof. But what rock? What rock? She means, like, do I go this way? You can only eat past trees. Okay, yeah. But that will be that will be for one day, two days, and then you will be hopefully fine. At least I hope. Hmm, how do I get up there? Maybe I could use my my globe? Oh, this is just for XP's. Since AMD are behind, there's no competition for NVIDIA to lower the prices. Oh, true. It will be it will be good if there's more competition here. Yeah. No question. And lower lower prices. No question about that. Who wouldn't want to have cheaper? Cheaper components. Okay. I didn't get far enough. Now the bird comes after me. Maybe that's exactly what we need, though. Okay, if I get there... How do I... Oh, I need a bird there, probably. Oh my. Okay. Can we get the bird there? Not sure. You don't want... Don't know what to spend them on. 
Well, when I play Slay the Spider, you could be selecting characters. When I will have ability points, you could uh, select my next ability I buy for Ori, but I've just buy bought m multiple of them. You don't need translations. Hmm. I will say keep holding on them a bit still. I have I have many many ideas, I just need to put them in. Okay. As you are not the only one, I think Luhar is at the same issue as well. I will try to have a bit more options tomorrow. If you feel like there is nothing to select just for now. Hmm. This part pass passage is really, really tricky. Yeah, I don't think I really need to go down just now. Still to the right. Oh, 5,000. That's a lot. <laughs> nice. That's that's loyal viewer. Nice. <laughs> Highlighting when I became famous. Yeah, it's true that now probably. <laughs> Drowning me mid <laughs> Yeah, that might happen. You guys, you guys are aware that like water can be poisonous if it's drunk in too large that uh, you know amount. Oh, the rock! I see. They meant this rock. This one. And I was like, I still need to go up there. Sometimes you get stuck on the things that are like maybe are obvious but not to me <laughs> and I miss them. Oh finally finally we are going. Uh that was like Well last time you or someone ordered drinking water or tea, that was you, Blady, I think. No, or well, no, yeah Blady. Uh or maybe I am wrong. Yeah, yeah. But I keep drinking like for free, which I shouldn't be probably doing. I should stop drinking during my streams and just wait for people to save me from, uh, you know, being the head right. It. <laughs> we have Kuros Feather now. We can use that item when we press right trigger. We can glide freely or right wind current. Ooh, that's Legend of Zelda ability right there. One shot of whiskey. <laughs> I think that's not allowed, right, on Twitch. Or is it? But that would, that would really kill me. Uh, that would really kill me and one shot of whiskey that I would need to make it like really really expensive Yeah, I'm not sure if you can just drink alcohol or have points for drinking alcohol Maybe maybe that was just misinformation But for example, I heard multiple times that it's against terms of service to stream uh, Yourself sleeping not sure if anybody would want to watch it and anyone would want to do it, but it's probably against the toss. 
Ouch. That's a new enemy. And it's dangerous one. How should I kill it? It shoots where I am. It exactly knows where I am. That wasn't nice. But I think you can just drink your by yourself. That's fine. Oh, th thanks, Blady. Thanks for keeping me hydrated. For salty snacks, you say, hmm, interesting, interesting idea, I would need to think about it. Uh, the problem with salty snack is sour snacks. Oh, there are some types of, of, uh, how do you call them, snacks, sweet snacks. That have different tastes and some of them taste badly so i know that someone's actually doing that so i might have something similar yeah just just as from harry potter i'm not sure how these were called but okay that was like quite hard actually too many enemies there But I could consider it, yeah. The problem with snacks is they have calories, so you would feed me guys and I would be overfed and then I would be weighing, to, weighing like 200-300 kilos from eating all the snacks. <laughs> Am I wrong there? <laughs> And I'm not sure if like healthy snacks would be interesting for you guys. If I would have like apple there and you would be paying for me taking bites of apple, I'm not sure if that would be <laughs> satisfying for you. The Shrouded Lantern, this mysterious haze, billows out of its stem. If you find a way to light it, the path might clear up once again. Billows out of its stem, mysterious haze. We find way to light it. We want to light it. The path might clear up once again. Are they trying to rhyme? <laughs> oh yeah, emoticons. That's just another another thing. Yeah, do you have any suggestions for emoticons? Because yeah, I need to create one. I have two subs now, and I really. Apologize for them when they sub that I don't still have emoticon, emoticon and I still don't have one. One of one of the emoticons I'm thinking of is having a potion emoticon because of Slay the Spire. And I always don't play the potions, so that would be one of the ideas. So potion. Uh, another idea is like the normal normal emoticons, you know, of face like face palm, for example this or lul or something like that yeah 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 i am so far so good but there were some issues that hopefully will be resolved one of them was the internet connection i've already like written to my provider so now it hopefully should be resolved so that makes me a bit happier because I had issue with my internet and I monitored it using the 
pink utility for example and you could see that my internet was like fine 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 and then for a couple of seconds it was really really horrible and you could see probably on the stream as well and i was really 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 unhappy with that but it seems that they fixed it at least from the for the most part now okay where do we go so now i'm happier another thing is i still haven't unpacked on all my belongings so actually that's why today and yesterday i streamed just in the evening and not that much because during the day today i was unpacking as well i was actually unpacking uh, books today and uh, plus other stuff but some books that i've brought so i unpacked unpacked my collection of comics so i unpacked ouch okay should i yeah i will i saved so i can kill myself uh currently currently i don't i don't have anything uh i think started or i have actually uh i have one book that we actually been been given in work and that's uh solve for happy that's a self-improvement book from mo Gavdat. he worked in google and that's basically how to be happier so that's interesting so that's one that I have like in progress. Before before that I this year it was this year? I think it was this year. I finally finally read first Dune book from Frank Herbert. And that was amazing. So now I'm set for the movie. I will just need to decide if I'm gonna read the Um If I'm gonna read You know, there are multiple books. So June, I would recommend, and after that, I, I, after that, I read. Okay, that's my phone. Not sure if you can hear it, guys. Now, now it should be fine. Uh, I've read the book from David Weber. He's writing military sci-fi books from Honor, Honor, Honor Erickton. So I read Shadow of Saganami. That's like first of the spin-off bin of books and that was really nice i i was afraid i wouldn't like it but i actually liked even though you know new characters all that stuff i actually like that what kind of books do you i like well to be honest uh, the classic stuff so nothing surprising guys lord of the rings ouch sci-fi and fantasy books mainly uh, so uh, witcher witcher books witcher books are amazing if you haven't read witcher books I can recommend on harrington i've mentioned now that's military sci-fi uh june i've mentioned as well amazing book uh, I've read Discworld from Terry Pratchett but that's uh, many years since I've read the last one and I've read them in Czech so I will probably start reading them sometime from the uh, in the English so that would be the main main stuff I would like to read the King Killer Chronicle from the uh, Ruthus, but he hasn't. He haven't released. He hasn't released the third one yet. You have idea for your own fantasy book. <laughs> So, would you want to be a writer sometime? That's cool.
Okay. This one's gonna be interesting to time, I guess. This passage. So yeah, these kind of books. Luharis, what do you read? Do you read books? And of course, uh, Game of Thrones. So Song of Ice and Fire. But there we are waiting for the next book. Maybe next year, who knows. Yeah, what do you read, guys? Do you read books? What do you mean, Lost on Game of Thrones? That's like the book that you wouldn't? Song of Ice and Fire, David? These are amazing books. One book is like such this, this large, though, but it's amazing, amazing read. I've read them... Basically, how I got to them was I watched first two seasons of Game of Thrones, then I read all the books that were available, and then I didn't like that se the series that much after that because the books are amazing. Overlord series, Luharis. Okay, that seems like it could be a recommendation for me. Wh who's, who is it from? Overlord series? I don't think I'm familiar just now with that. David, you wouldn't read Game of Thrones. Oh, I see. I see you get angry because they killed that character that they did. Um, oh, yeah. Lots of people got angry about it, but it's a beauty of Game of Thrones as well, to be honest. That's what makes it so great. You can't be sure what's gonna happen to your character. Characters that you like. But yeah, I can understand your anger. But that wasn't like the only, only character that I liked, so... I continued. Okay, now we have one key. Fair enough. Where do we go from there? One is not enough, I guess. Okay, something's happening. Do we try to go and try to scale this tree? It, it seems like it would kill ourselves. To kill ourselves, I think. The Witcher books, you would definitely read. For sure, read them. I've read them. I've read them like many, many years ago, even. Even before there was a TV series. And you. The short stories, these were the books that I've read like the most quickly I've ever read. Basically, a book like during the weekend. And you, you couldn't stop, you couldn't put it down. So the books are really, really, really great. I can't recommend them enough. If you like fantasy, just go for them. Just go for them. Really, really amazing books, amazing read. And it's... Okay, let's, let's kill myself. It might be interesting for you, Uluharis, as well, if you haven't read them. Because in, in, in his stories, he's actually using... Uh, like uh, uh, a folklore, Slovan folklore, and actually like uh, Slovan fairy tales. So they they are inspired by classic Slo Slovan fairy tales. Might be interesting. Okay, I will continue. I don't think there is anything.
<laughs> Blady asking how many galaxy points everyone has. You already have 2.3k. Wow. Okay, I don't remember this. Passage. Hmm. Did did the way back change actually? Isaac Asimov. Oh, that's a good recommendation. That's great recommendation. I haven't read anything from him, but I know that the TV series, uh, the foundation that's coming. Okay, the woods are changing. Now it changed again. So foundation is coming. The end of eternity as a gift. But you haven't yet had time to read it. Okay. Yeah, seems like I can't jump there. Let's see if I can use the lantern. I can't. You like the last question. Okay, so you read Isaac Asimov. I haven't read anything. I've just seen some movies based on his uh, novels. Uh, I Robot with Will Smith. <laughs> Not sure how it compares. Uh, I need to read it. I need to read his books. Like he's on my like to to read list. But yeah, I have. I'm reading now that mentioned series from David Weber. And that's a huge series, a huge series of books. I think I'm at reading like 14th book or something like that. Already. Oh, David, you read iRobot. Okay, nice. Very interesting. Totally different though. Okay, I see. Nothing to do with the movie? Okay, that's fine. But I kinda like the movie, to be honest. Atsu's torch. It was lost in this place. If we carry it to the shrouded lantern, it might show us the way. Okay, maybe we might carry it then. But I like the movie. So I would find the book at least like unexpected and interesting and and new new take on the story that's cool okay how do we get there though the movie was cool but they touched on the laws of robotics very lightly i see Do I use it? This? No. What do I use here then? Okay, I killed the enemy. Didn't even plan to. Okay, let's try if we need to go back again. If something changed. Let's ha have a look. Oh yeah, something's changing. So yeah, Isaac Asimov. Uh, I read some sci-fi books uh, from Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, Meeting with Rama, is it? The I'm not sure if I'm translating that correctly. The Rama book that was interesting, but in the end not that much really happened, I think. Of course, I've read the Odyssey from Isaac.
So I could recommend these for sure. Okay, let's kill ourselves. And let's think how we are gonna get through this passage. So one, two. Okay, that's one. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Then brown? No, no, no. I haven't, I haven't read down brown. I haven't even seen the movies. You would recommend recommend reading him? How come it's not using that projectile anymore? I want it to shoot at me. You read Angel and Demons almost till the end. Why almost? Why haven't you finished it? Da Vinci Code. Okay, oh, really good. I can't save. Oh, I can save here. Da Vinci Code was really good. Okay. And Digital to Fortress. You forgot how far you were in. Oh, I see. Yeah, sometimes that happens when you don't read the book for long. <laughs> you, you need to read a quarter. Ouch. Okay. I've already lost HP. Let's do it again. Um... Okay, I need to save here. I'm really happy that I made it through. So yeah, that were the books. Uh, I also also tried to read some comic books. Not sure if you are into comic books. I like Marvel movies though, but comic books, I can't really get into the comic books usually, for some reason. Oh, you watched animes. An okay. Oh, so many animes I was recommended and still haven't seen. For example, Death Note. Death Note. I know it's supposed to be amazing, but I still haven't seen that one. Basically, anime that I saw was, you guys are probably familiar with, uh, Cowboy Bebop. So yeah, that's the one. Cowboy Bebop. That was really nice. But that's many years now. And Attack on Titan was recommended to me.
You are watching Kat Katyuko Hitman Reborn currently. Okay, I never heard of it. Katyuko. Katakio. Attack on Titan. It hasn't finished yet, right? There is Netflix series as well, I think. Well, not as well. There is manga and Netflix series. Yeah. So yeah, animes. You guys see, I have so many, so many stuff I should read and watch. So Attack of Titan would be one. Third season, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was considering Neon Genesis Evan Evangelion. That's supposed to be really good. What's, what's gonna be here? Oof. And where do I go? Do I go to the... Left? The right? Or left? Oh, maybe an ability first. How the main character is built in that series. Okay. That's Silver Spoon. Silver Spoon is the name of anime? Really? Tatsu used to climb the mountains high atop Sorrow Pass. When her brother's torch faded, she fell to the mists where she lost her path. Which is an anime for farming, which I find very relaxing. So I used to spend a lot of my childhood in your village. Yeah, nice. Farming, relaxing, okay. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Farming Simulator? Would you play it? You've learned Climb. To use this ability, press and hold when you are against a wall to travel along its surface. We are climbing now. Oh, I forgot I could glide. That made the passages so much, so much harder. And really, you can really climb. That's cool ability. I really love that. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if I would, to be honest, to play Farming Simulator because... Um, I don't know. I can have it for real if I want to. <laughs> Probably need to time it. Yeah, I need to time it. Let's go. Create a wall. Nice. That's cheating. How come it... it it's like... Hidden. It, it was hidden again. Okay. One jump, it creates a wall. Another jump hides it. So. Oh my god, I jumped. No, I need to scale it. Oh, you would be working if you had stable internet. Yeah, that's what I was fighting all my life. I grew up in a village as well. Not all my life, but most of it. And the internet there was really, really poor. 
at for the same price that people had a really amazingly fast internet. Mine was like really, really, really slow. But now it got better finally. Finally. Hundred per one hundred for seven seven point five. Okay, that's insane. That's really insane. I think we play like we pay like how much? Like twenty euros, and it's like let me think about it. It's like. I'm not sure how much actually. Maybe 60 slash 15 or something like that. And it's fiber. I th uh, we, I'm actually on now. I'm actually on oh, Wi-Fi 5G. I think. Okay, interesting. So, jump in the air doesn't count. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Outskirts of the city. Is it Sofia? In Bulgaria, is it Sofia? Human. Yeah, not really familiar with Schumann, to be honest. Okay, too crowded, you say. Fair enough. Okay, I like how it creates <laughs> new platforms. That's really cool. Really cool idea. Oh, I missed. Another key, cool. I'll take it. Basically three quarters of Bulgaria are in Sofia. Because there are a lot of overseas companies with offices there. Yeah. Yeah, that's usually the thing. The capital city takes a lot, takes the most of it. And Sofia has the highest salary per person in the whole, whole country but it's very expensive oh yeah yeah that reminds me of london that reminds me of prague same stuff same stuff in both you can get the the rent in london was crazy like really really crazy
Yeah, finally I remembered I have the feather. That's really nice. I see. Interesting. Okay, so you are from Bulgaria. Not today. I would get too hungry, but I need to... I will be asking for some food tips. For sure. Okay. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. So, do you need to travel to Sofia? For work? So, are people moving to Sofia actually? Okay, uh, my mistake. Or out of Bulgaria. Okay, and where do people move if they move out of Bulgaria? What's the destination? What's the country people think they find better lives in? Germany, England, Netherlands, pretty much everywhere. Okay. Is that something that you've considered as well? Moving out to a different country? Okay, if I jump... I can be there, but then I would need to jump again. So maybe I won't jump. Let's see if I can do it without jumping. Haha, <laughs> that was the answer. Do not jump. Oh, you have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's a huge change. I didn't expect that to happen. That's tricky. Okay, now I was too quick. <laughs> oh, that sounds... That's very really unfortunate. That's unfortunate that we don't see much hope there. I'm back in Czech because I actually like Czech, so... I'm not saying everything's ideal there, but... 
it's not bad place to live at all. But maybe, who knows, maybe I will change countries again. I wouldn't mind doing it again. It was interesting, interesting, interesting stuff to do. So not maybe going back to London, but going, going back to somewhere else. Not back, trying somewhere else. Who knows? To, to do? I don't think. Well, let's glide. We can glide. That makes it so much easier than before when I tried to jump through. Okay. These enemies, that's not nice. Didn't go to the right, so we missed something probably. Ireland and drink whiskey. Ireland whiskey. Would you enjoy that? Netherlands, Germany, Netherlands, Amsterdam. That would be a really, really good place to live as well, for sure. Uh, Germany, probably nice place as well, but if I would choose maybe Netherlands, Netherlands supposed to be really nice, yeah. That would be a good choice. And Japan, yeah, Japan, that's my destination for sure. Would like to go there as well. It's on my travel to list. No question asked. Japanese culture, yeah, that's why you travel there, though, because it's really specific and really special. You don't work to live, but live to work. <laughs> yeah, I see, I know what you mean. I just saved, let's kill ourselves. I don't want to have, I want to have that maximum amount of HP I can get. Oh, I forgot I can just scale these walls, well, some of them. Okay, we need to use the lanterns, I see. But yeah, that culture is for sure specific. I need to use the the feather again. That's what I need to do.
yeah but for sure japan country i would really like to visit as well my my colleague actually she was again planning on traveling there in april unfortunately you know traveling during this time so she cancelled it and she was like really really sad about that as well but yeah japan japan america these are my destinations well the two main destinations otherwise i would like to visit many many countries as well like sweden for example oh no worries man no worries i really enjoy talking to you as well really good discussions i think really enjoy talking to you so i guess i th see you tomorrow i should drop by again as well at least i will try to i will try to drop by hopefully it will work out at least for a bit so yeah thank you very much for dropping by and yeah have a good night sleep and good night rest Thank you. You take care as well. Bye bye. So let's have a look what we are going to improve. Can we improve something? We have two points. We that requires spread efficiency. Really? Spirit effic efficiency? Where is it? Fine. Enter carries two ability points. So this one should be fine. Okay. This one requires Ultra Stomp. Let's go Rapid Flame. Ouch. Getting destroyed by these projectiles. They get trickier and trickier. Okay. If he can push it to the side, I see. This passage. Okay, it's already tricky. Okay, I can. I forgot, I don't need to be jumping. So, what do we do? Do I jump? Or can I actually switch to the next side? I think I could have, but I worked it a bit. I'm forgetting, as I have more and more abilities, I keep forgetting to use them. I think and I have at least one or more to unlock still. It amazes me how the devs actually, you know, they didn't stop like, you know, in and designed like one ability or two. They designed like eight of them or how many? Where do we go from here? Yeah. No map this in this era. No map at all. Yeah, 
tricky. That's one. This one's really tricky enemy. Really need to be moving for it to kill it and not get dodged. Uh, dodged. I mean, not that hit. You need to be dodging quite a lot there. Do we go up or what did I see there? Yeah, I don't think, or maybe I will be able to get there. Let's go the normal way though. I think yeah, this is the standard way how to go there. Well, uh, how to continue next. Hmm. Can we use this projectile? Oh, we can. Okay, and we will use this one. Are these enemies that we can use to jump and scale? Yeah, let's wait a bit. Interesting. Can we destroy them quickly enough? Oh yeah, that upgrade actually helps to destroy this enemy quickly enough. Ouch. Do we need to use this one? Okay, no. I thought we might need to use it for something. Okay, we are here. So, that's actually, I think, what I was considering. I mean, collecting that orb that way. So I can, I can collect it again. Not again, now. Oh, I can't. Whew. I'm glad at least that I don't need to go all the way back around. So now do we just jump and try to jump across? Okay, that's it. HP lives and energy. Something hard might be coming. Oh, it's this one. We already fought, fought it once before. It's kind of weird that they would reuse the boss. Oh, now there are two of them. Okay, we can open the gate there. Can we find something up there? Okay, seems like nothing there. Fair enough. Not even a hit, something hidden. We have four keys, which is exactly how much, how many we need.
Oh, we will be picking up. That's something we will need use to clear up. Clear the mist. Okay, now I have it on my back. Something to the left. And if so, I couldn't like cover it and scale the wall. Can we actually leave it there? That doesn't seem right. Seems like we should be carrying. Ouch. Or maybe we will go back and hope that um, that is going to be an exchange in the woods. Okay, let's pick it up. Yeah, I can't... I can't jump with that. More. Use double jump or whatever. I can't throw it. Can I throw it, actually? No, I can't. So we need to go this way, then. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, it's changing now. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I don't think I can... Yeah. I'm not able to do that jump over the wall as well. But I think I need to be... Need to keep going. Yeah. Taking it from the cover. Cover mechanic as well. Oh, and we are here. Now we will clear the mist. Oh yeah, it's heavy. We lit the shrouded lantern. It lifted the haze. Ori, the key to the forlorn ruins, the Gumon seal has been revealed. You found the Gumon seal. Using this key, you can gain entrance to the forlorn ruins. The element of winds is deep within the forlorn ruins, south of this place. It's not too far from here. I can show you the way. Okay. To south. Oh. Find the Gumon seal hidden inside Misty Woods. Okay, done. And now this is the... Valley of the Wind. A Sorrow Pass over there. Misty Woods? Oh, 95%. That's what we've been doing today. And yeah, to the south then. Enter and restore the forlorn ruins. So, if it's to the south, okay, we can't do mount more. It's probably gonna be going this way. Jump down and go there. Yeah, if you have a look, how much we've actually discovered already. Maybe this area I haven't still been to? Yeah, that's what I've tried today. I couldn't get in. Maybe I will need a different ability. But already everything this. 
and today a bit uh, of leveling up as well. We've leveled quite a lot. This was unavailable. Hopefully this will open later. But now we are going over there for our ruins. Do we do we still need to interact with it? Oh. Could have like we've undone what we've done. And now we can see. Nice. So I saved over there. So I will probably go there for to the link. I don't want to waste. Another energy for the save. How far is it? Uh, let me check one last thing. Okay, so almost nine nine hours in. Okay, I think. That's gonna be for today's stream. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will keep playing Ori tomorrow probably. Ori or Slay the Spire, we will see. But yeah, these two games currently. And if we check the skills... We are missing just one now. It's locked, doesn't say what it is. But we got climb and we will climb and we will see what the next one is. Hopefully maybe something that will enable us to go through the walls. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching once more. Hope you enjoyed the stream and see you next time.